afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Slavek. I will be I will be leading this uh, this uh, this webinar. So thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully, you will join also some of our webinars, which we organize biweekly. Today, I will <clears throat> share a couple of information how our uh, plugin for Outlook works. And uh, so let's get started. Let me just start screen sharing. Right. Okay, if we are talking about easy calendars in the Easy Red Mine and Outlook plugin, uh, this whole technology consists of parts. One is the extension of our Calda functionality on the Easy Red Mine server, and the second one is Outlook plugin itself. If we have a look, actually, what this extension of Calda uh, Calda functionality on our server brings. It's actually allowing to visualize in time, so in the form of calendar, more entities than just the meetings. Um, specifically, it brings the project management data, like tasks and milestones. It also brings attendance information about the vacation, sick leave, and, uh, and others. And it also brings complete set of CRM data, typically, um, typically uh, the contract dates, which are used for forecast or notice about the deal is closed, uh, the uh, simple administration of follow-up uh, follow actions through the next actions from CRM data, or something which we brought this year, uh, which is very detailed sales activities for good organization of the people sales work. So uh, activities are visualized there as well. That was really nice work for a uh, very nice organization of the work of the people. Right, so this is a CALDAF extension. At this moment, it's, it's important to say that CALDAF is pretty widely, widely um, uh, recognized industrial standard. So for example, if you have your uh, iPhone or iPad, uh, iPhone or let's say iOS is fully supporting CALDAF, so in your native calendar application on your iPhone, iPad, or other device, you can simply set set the entities which you like for the synchronization. It got uh, visually differentiated, you know, for example, the meetings from the tasks, and you can actually have always with you all the all the all the organization of your work with you. Um, to elaborate further, um, if you are, for example, user of Mozilla Thunderbird, there is also an extension for CalDAF synchronization. Uh, if you are a user of Android device, there are applications which, uh, which is enabling CalDAF synchronizations with your, with your, uh, with Easy Red Mind server, and so on and so forth. We tested a number of them, so pretty much it works because we have the uh, standard implementation of CalDAF. Well, one platform is a little bit ignoring or is behind with implementation of different DAF technologies. It's, it's Microsoft on its, on its, uh, on its um, uh, desktop and mobile platform for that reason, because we have many customers with actually Microsoft Outlook as the main, main uh, work organizer. Uh, we uh, uh, we are bringing also the extension to the Outlook desktop uh, to synchronize uh, your 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 data with Easy Red Mine. Um, on the morning uh, morning session, I was asked to uh, to uh, about I was asked about if some um, changes are needed to Microsoft Exchange. The answer is no. The Outlook plugin is really installed on your desktop and it actually brings the general CalDAF uh, functionality to synchronize calendars to your desktop Outlook. Next to that, it is also bringing the possibility to, to synchronize contacts through another DAF standard, the CADDAF, and uh, our server supports CADDAF as well. 
Um, okay, before I will uh, show you show, show you everything online, I would just uh, remind you that if you have any questions, please uh, go to Q and A section and raise the questions. Uh, my colleague Hedviga, who is uh, participating on this call, would either answer that right away, or I will I will be uh, I will <coughs> I will have a <clears throat> Excuse me, please. I will I will answer your questions. Uh, we will have plenty of time to do so. Well, okay. The functionality is pretty straightforward. Let me just uh, open a browser and and share the screen of the browser with you. Right, if I open a, a calendar, you might see that traditionally in our EaseRedMind calendar, I can visualize number of data, right? Typically meetings, of course, seeing my colleagues' appointments as well. I can, but I can also visualize tasks, minds, milestones, and also some, some other CRM data, and so on and so forth. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to. Set up new meeting. Right, so as you can see, I can actually choose what data I'm I'm visualizing. I can see here this is my sales activities, this is my meetings, this is actually some uh, some tasks on the top, and and some others. And actually, the purpose of this uh, of this uh, easy calendar is to bring you the same visualization the same complex information to your other devices and more specifically together with the Outlook plugin to bring it to your Outlook. So if I open if I open the uh, my Outlook in calendar you can see uh, thanks to the CalDAV synchronizer I'm able to vi visualize these data as you can see, uh, these data, uh, I will show you how this can be configured, but I am synchronizing the data to different folders. So for example, if I want to see just my meetings, I just simply click it like this. If I want to see my project management data, I can, I can, I can uh, display my project management data or my CRM data. So in this, actually, Outlook is pretty cool. That allows you to really work uh, and, and personalize your visualization of your data. What is the good thing here, which you cannot do in, in our web calendar, in the application of EasyRedMind uh, itself, is that, for example, uh, if I would like to uh, reschedule some of my activity, like a phone call or this meeting right here, I can just drag and drop. I, and, and, and it is actually actualized and moved, uh, moved, uh, moved the old uh, time dates and due dates. The same with tasks. I can, I can move the tasks to, 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 to the next day and uh, they get synchronized correctly with the server and the due date and start date is actually changed. The same actually appears here for other CRM data, basically all entities can change the, the, the studies and due dates uh, uh, through, uh, through, through Outlook. What is interesting here is that um, you don't have this feature yet uh, in, in EasyRedMind, but uh, the, the, the Outlook is actually allows you, for example, if you would like to uh, organize your day in the morning, that you can actually drag some tasks because task is um, in EasyRedMind now task it's only about the dates, not about the hours. So I can actually put it lying here. It's not synchronized. The hours are not synchronized with the server, but it doesn't matter for you, for your personal planning. You can, you can use it like this and also plan these things in time. The interesting uh, information here is that we will be actually bringing this information, uh, this functionality to easy red mine as well uh, sort of it will be scheduler for your tasks so uh, uh, this application will of course stay stay uh, stay uh, alerted the synchronization is, uh, is, uh, is a two-way synchronization so if you if you accept some invitation from your client or partner 
in your outlook, it will get propagated to easy, easy red mine and vice versa. So it's fully bidirectional synchronization of, uh, of uh, the data. Now to show you how these things works, um, it's pretty straightforward um, how to get this organized. After you actually uh, install Caldaf Synchronizer, which you can download from uh, their own page or, or uh, from our web page as well, um, you got this new tab in your Outlook and you need to set up the profiles. So if I click on profiles, um, I have a new window open here. You see I have the profiles already, but I will simulate how that would work. Uh, uh, how that would work. I will copy this so I don't have to type it again. The easiest way if you is is if you if you click on this uh, add multiple profiles button and select easy project to get this feature in easy red mine uh, in your outlook and um, uh, it's it's pre-filled so basically you only things you need to just put here your server address. I have all the link here so <clears throat> it shall work like this. Put your username and password. Same like you have to uh, sign into Easy Redmine. Now you can simply verify that it works if you if you actually click on one of those two buttons. It's two different options. Me personally, I I prefer to assign different these of these sources to different Outlook folders. So it allows me to have this kind of organization which I have here in my calendars. You can also synchronize, synchronize everything to single folder. But this is more difficult way, so I will do it. I just get it on the second screen, so I'm bringing back here. So I have this window here, and here I am actually saying where, what data will be synchronized to where. So typically meetings, I usually put to my main calendar um, and uh, for uh, for tasks and milestones, I created just through this button, new new folder under the calendars uh, with the name of uh, PM, like for project management. And I do the same for the, uh, for the other data like this, right? So I actually said what I want to synchronize and into what folder. Now, um, uh, there is also this kind of functionality. Oops. This is new. It was not here in the morning. Okay. Let me reopen this window. Uh, right. Anyhow. This is something probably with my PC because this is really testing. Anyhow, this is this is allowing me to synchronize contacts and users. The important thing here is that it also works with, with filters on top of contacts and users. So if you have, for, for example, somehow segmented your contacts so you are not actually overloading your output with uh, too large number of contacts it's it's uh, it uh, you can do that and then you do the same you just set set where you want to synchronize these data and it got synchronized it's actually full synchronization I can show you that the data in my outlook well as I have this as I have this already set in my computer I will actually cancel this one I will for sure, yeah, I have just the old ones. So I don't have it, I don't have it twice in the system. There is also some other numbers, <coughs> some other settings, <coughs> like for the frequency, um, about the logging and information about potential conflicts and so on and so forth. Uh, we just recommend to leave it as it is and just in case that you would really need something to change that to change it well then then in practice uh, after you set up your profiles it can take a while for the first synchronization I'm sorry for this for the first synchronization the the, the followed synchronization are you know taking uh, basically on the background you don't even notice them 
another tip from my personal usage is that I that uh, that I uh, that I'm using the the uh, the reading pane right here, so I can actually just simply click on the task. I can I can actually see uh, the de uh, details of the task or of the CRM case or, or the activity of the CRM case, right? Uh, like your or just simple the, the, the meeting, right? And so I can go directly to to my to my data just with the links over here. And just opens the the entity and and loads the data. Right. So basically, that's it. Um, as I said, the functionality is straightforward. Basically, was uh, about to to bring the same visualization of of calendar, uh, having the same experience in your favorite local uh, local calendar application, and having the same you know, visualization on your, in the web application. Uh, um, Exchange users uh, may have a question about whether this uh, synchronization between Easer and mine will get populated also uh, to your exchange. So it's, uh, so it's shared with your exchange um, colleagues. The answer is yes, it's synchronized just through the local application. And you achieve it like that, that in, uh, that in the synchronization profile, you select uh, the folder which is under the synchronization with your Outlook. It's the default one. So typically what, uh, what some of our customers are doing, they are typically synchronizing the meetings to the folder which is under the synchronization with, uh, with uh, uh, your exchange. And typically the other ones they, they put apart because there will be maybe uh, too many and unnecessarily data for sharing uh, with, uh, for sharing on on uh, on exchange server right I will stop sharing now uh, uh, I will stop sharing now and have a look into a q and a section. First, uh, first question from Kim van Leeuwen. Can users with Apple devices, since uh, with with users using non-Apple devices, yes. Uh, as I said, everything is based on the CalDAV, uh, where the server is uh, your easy Redmine server, and <clears throat> and you just need to make sure that that uh, that uh, the CalDAV is supported. As I said. As I said, uh, uh, if we are talking typically Android mobile devices, uh, there are apps which are uh, allowing synchronization of 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 of, of CalDAV. Uh, true is that iOS has it. iOS has it a little bit better because it's really na native for iOS, but for <clears throat> but for uh, Android, it is there. Uh, I found even some applications doing that on Microsoft mobile platform, like on the mobile phones from Microsoft, but it's not working 100% um, in terms of, of uh, Microsoft desktop, then, uh, then uh, we, we, are, we are providing this, uh, uh, this CalDAV for Outlook. Please let me know if, if, if this answer was you know, sufficient. In the meantime, I will uh, have a look on the second question from Christian Miller. Are my colleagues able to see the synchronized calendar entries of my calendar? We share our calendars in our company. Uh, yes, I, um, I believe uh, I answered that already in, in the end of my speech. So if you are having uh, Exchange Server with, uh, with Outlook as the endpoint devices. Uh, then, if you just set your CalDAV synchronizer this way, that you synchronize the data into the into the Outlook uh, right folder. It is there. If you synchronize it somewhere there, you prohibit the others to see that. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, Kim is actually more specific over his question about 
Apple Calendar, uh, the desktop application, and Outlook PC desktop calendar. Exactly, yes, yes. So the Apple users, they don't, they just configure the Caldaf, uh, Caldaf server um, uh, as the source of the of the of the data. It's it's uh, it's natively supported by by all Apple devices. The Outlook users has to use this Caldaf synchronizer. And uh, and you can you, you, you can do it like that. Uh, what we don't have here in Outlook is that I can't open a colleague in Outlook or in Apple. This is not supported actually. If you are asking about that, if you like to have a look on your colleagues calendar, uh, still still this is through this is through our you know main calendar in the application. Where you can where you can actually open someone's uh, uh, someone's oh, I don't know how to type you can open the calendar like here so uh, seeing someone else's availability in Outlook or in Apple is not supported at this moment right um, now in order to Okay, I was not. Sh I was showing something, and I was not sharing. Uh, to share with you a little bit uh, um, our plans about uh, next development. This is our very first version of Outlook plugin, and uh, it's done to support the whole concept of uh, more DAF uh, calendars uh, for synchronizing synchronizing all the data. But for the Outlook users, we plan to keep bringing more functionalities like creating a task from incoming email or from its part, um, some uh, continuous update of tasks through your emails, and, uh, and similar productivity, uh, productivity improvements. We plan some new version of this functionality somehow at the end, at the, end uh, pardon, the, the beginning of next year. So stay tuned if you are if you are Outlook user, and uh, as I don't see uh, many other questions, uh, basically that's it from my side. I would maybe ask Hedviga if Hedviga can uh, can update you about what's the plan uh, for next webinar, which takes place in two weeks from now. Uh, hello, everyone. So the next webinar will be in two weeks, and it will be about uh, the knowledge base, and it will be presented by by our consultant. Uh, uh, Dagmar and uh, well now I would like to ask you everyone to look uh, into our uh, poll and uh, rate our webinar yeah uh, your feedback would, would be appreciated the same as a suggestions for for any other topic these are these webinars are organized for um, easy read mind users uh, easy read mind active clients so uh, in these kind of webinars, we are able to go even deep into some problematics. Uh, so, if there is something you would like to know more, learn more, just uh, just just give us a tip, and we will definitely address that as as uh, as uh, we like your suggestions. Right? Okay. Uh, so so. Uh, as this is all from my side, and I don't see any other uh, incoming questions, I would like to thank you all. Please take uh, take uh, take uh, uh, participate in the in the rating. I don't know if you run it, Hedviga, already. 